I'm going to be doing a video on gradient descent. For those of you that don't know what gradient descent is, it is a machine learning algorithm that is used to draw a fit a line to a set of points. And it's useful for linear regression and basically you want to predict further out um, in your data set. So I'm going to show you how to do that in Python. So first thing I'm going to do is just import uh, NumPy and Matplotlib. And then uh, this is just a sample data set. Let's take a look at what it looks like. We just got some sample points. And what we want to do is uh, draw a nice line. Y equals mx plus b is uh, what we want. And uh, we have that right here. And uh, we're just going to use lambda to represent uh, the formula. So now, what we're going to be creating is a line an equation for a line uh, to plot, so we can get a line that uh, goes through these points. And here's a function right here that we're going to, I'm going to be using to plot uh, the, an equation for a line. So if we just take a look. Right now we have uh, m equals zero, b equals zero, so just a flat line at zero. And if you want to take a look at the code that makes it, basically what I'm doing is I'm picking the min point and the max point in the data set um, for the x-axis. That way it creates a line for the whole bar. And then uh, just for the y values, just plugging them in the formula right here for the equation line. Okay. So now let's get into the equation for gradient descent. Um, let's zoom in a little bit so you guys can see this better. Okay, that's pretty big, but that's good. Okay, so basically what we're going to do is we're just going to, over and over, we're going to increase um, M and B to get closer to a good fit line. So let's zoom out. So what we want to do right now um, if we just plot these guys together, you'll notice you'll notice that um, this is a, and it's right here. This is a poor job predicting that because you know it's not very close. So what we want to do is slowly move it up and get it so it's right there. You know it's, it predicts it better. So we're going to slowly increase m and slowly increase b and basically just change them so that it fits. We, we get a nice line that gets the data well. And so what's happening is um, if we let k equal to the number of points we, that we have and then uh, what we're going to do is we're first going to subtract points from m. Uh, and so th w what's going to happen is we're going to do a for loop and we're just going to keep subtracting away from m until we get a nice um, line that we want. And we'll do the same for b. and um, right here, this alpha is uh, how fast you want to hap th this to happen, basically. Because what's going to happen is the line's slowly going to come up, 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 and go here. What's going to happen is it's going to be negative. That's why it's a minus sign. They're going to cancel. And it's going to add. And it's going to get bigger, 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 bigger. And basically, what's going to happen is you take the summation of uh, the distance between the line and the points, and you, in this case, we're going to be adding them to m. So it's going to get bigger and closer and closer and closer to it. It makes more sense once you see it happen. So let's take a look at that. So alpha is learn. And that's this right here. And you can make this 0 0.01, 0 0.1, 1. The faster you make it, the faster um, the algorithm terminates. But if you make it too big, you can get weird results, which I'll show later. So you want to basically start small and just build up. Um, it. So this is the summation here, and we're basically what we're doing is we're, we're following this exactly. So let me explain the x i and the y i notation. Um, if we look at the data points up here, um, x i would be so x zero would be this, y zero would be this, x one would be this, y zero would be this, and so we're just indexing the x and y points. That's the notation here. So we're getting the x value and plugging into our y equals mx plus b formula that we have right now. Um, subtracting, summing it, basically is kind of finding the mean distance between these. Um, and then we find, give that a total, and then uh, that's 
this summation right here is this part and then divide by 1 over k and then the second one for the b term the only difference is we multiply times xi the x point so that's right here and then here is the, the algorithm in action so um, m and b are currently zero still and when we run this it's going to increase it so let's run it once we're doing it five times we're uh, increasing it and notice how m is now 0.98 or sorry excuse me 0.19 and b has increased as well and let's just see what the line looks like okay so you notice they went up a little bit now if we run it again m increases b increases and we get an even closer line if we run this a few more times it gets closer and if we ran this for say 50 times it would increase even more and we finally get a nice line that goes right through here so what would happen is you just keep running it until it gets to a place that you like we can keep running this more and notice it will get a better fit but it, it's very incremental changes you know we can run it again it just gets smaller and smaller changes and uh, just to show you guys another way to visualize this is it moving upwards if we just run this 50 times set this back to zero so set M and B back to zero so we're resetting it and we rerun this you can just watch notice how the line starts here and it just slowly increases upward till it gets here and then if we scroll down uh, that's that's pretty much how the algorithm works now I'm going to show you with uh, another data set this is a real data set um, how does this work so let's go back to zero and I'm just going to use pandas library to read in some data so the data I'm going to be looking at is crickets and uh, the, the amount they chirp and the temperature that it is so this is just like the data a couple of points um, here it's uh, so 20 chirps in a minute and it's 88.6 or 59 degrees outside and this is Fahrenheit um, so we're just going to grab this and put it into a list to get the x points and the y points x is chirps y is temperature and let's just show you what that looks like here's our data set and then uh, our learn is going to be 0.001 still and then we're just going to run this a thousand times m is 4.8 and plot that and we get a nice line through here and now what this allows to do is let's say it's I count 10 chirps in a minute um, let's see what you know the degrees outside it's 48.46 degrees outside is what it predicts and now the one last thing I want to show you guys is if we increase this notice uh, this took a thousand um, to get to 4.8 just see if what well, we get to and you know running a thousand with that so notice when we increased it to 0.01 we get wonky results that's because we're learning too quickly so we need to go back down a little bit smaller and let's reset M in zero. Oh, again. Rerun it, and we get four point seven eight six. Run it again. So you notice as you um, change, tweak the learn, you get a little bit different result here and here. It's the speed at which it gets there as well. So. Um, we were just say just look at like maybe 10 and if we go back up to this value reset it let's run that and again it's too fast we can't do this much so bring it back down rent last one last time and so you guys can play around with this. Um, I'm gonna post this notebook for you guys to play around with, and you can, you know, try to fit a curve to the data you want to. So thanks for watching, guys.